G'day, I'm Adrian and this is Dill. We're from Northeast Campus. Uh, thank you for hiring our Blue Tongue Forward Fold. Today we're going to take you for a bit of a tour on the inside and outside and show you how to set it up. So, first of all, inside this big door here. So we've got the big 75 litre Waco. Slide out, push that blue tab down. You can slide all the way out and then you've got your fridge freezer straight up like that. So, plenty of room there. Put all your food, few cold beers, and uh, freezer if you need to, want to. So it's all run off the digital displays at this side, but she's already programmed into about two degrees each side. So by the time you get here, it'll be ready. Right, just sliding back in. So in the next one, just have a tunnel bit. So in here, push that, slide out. Got all your pots and pans. In here is all your bowls and etc plates cups um, and then up the top yeah we've got some chairs um, some wipes and this is your key so um, make sure that you we just leave it up the top there but yeah can't lose this otherwise that's mainly for the doors and stuff like that so i might just keep this all right moving along this is where we keep the kitchen so again just press those two buttons in you got two travel safety locks here, pull them in and out, and it'll just slide straight out like that. Self-assisted, there's no legs, so when you're camping, that's basically set up there. So there are a couple of connections though. So in here, got the water hose. So if you can see over on this side, simple connection straight into there, plugs into that, and then plug into there. So as soon as your water pumps on, you've got water to your kitchen. You've also got in this hatch, you plug this in that cigarette lighter there, and that activates your light. Also the piezo, which is your, your automatic lighter for your, your cooktop out there. Underneath, there's also a hose, which it just extends down. So all you do, pull that out, in the drawers on the other side, we've got a collapsible bucket. It goes underneath there and all your sink drain water, it just runs straight into there so it doesn't flood your feet. On the back side there, Dill will show you the, the gas connection. So this one's here, so this just pulls out and then we just plug it in here, straight in there. So that's quick and easy. I'm just poking back in and make sure that we just put the cap back in, so, like that. So to operate that, Obviously you have to have your gas turned on and also there's a yellow cut, cut off switch at the front. Just make sure that's running upright so your gas flows. Um, on the other side of here, you've got a little prep table and inside here, if you come back around, this is your cooktop. So you've got some wind brakes there. Then you lift that up. There's your three cookers. So once your gas is on, turn the switch and hit the igniter. We should start up. And also on the other side, <laughs> we've just got a drawer here. Cutlery, tongs, all that barbecue stuff, anything you need. There's some cleaning equipment in here, breadboards, spatulas, everything. You won't need to bring anything except clothes and some food. So you're all set up here. Then to pack it away, make sure all your connections are all inside. Otherwise it'll stop it from going in. And then all you do, you just push it straight in like that, all the way to the end. And those travel locks, push them in. And then close up the gate. Done. This little position here is a, a holder for an outdoor light, which we provided as well. So it extends on a pole. You put your light in there and it hovers over the top like a bit of a UFO and there's just a cigarette connection. So it'll run underneath here and up into there. Well, it's also on a dimmer switch. So once it's plugged in, you can just control it from the switch. Making our way around, spare toy. If you ever unfortunately get into some trouble, you can get out of trouble. It's there. Toolbox inside of here. So what we have in there, it's a 200 watts foldable solar blanket. So it connects to an Anderson plug at the front. And once you're set up off grid, free camping, all that kind of stuff. Set him up, he'll keep your batteries charged and that fridge cold is what you want. So if you're at a caravan park or anything like that, 
All you gotta do is just plug into your mains power so you won't need that solar blanket. This is a diesel tank, so fitted inside is a diesel heater. Works magnificently, so those chilly mornings or cold nights, fire it up. You can run it all night. Um, it's already preset to a temp. So as long as you've got fuel in that, you're right to go. And can last up to two or three days, depending on how hot you want to run it. So great thing. Um, moving around. So this is the plug we are talking about. So if you caravan park, anything like that, plug into power. Keeps everything charged and, and running perfectly. Livens up all your power points as well. Um, and we provide that lead. Just a little tunnel boot here, not much in there. Just a bit of storage space if you wanted to pop anything in there. So. Next thing is we've got our two water tanks. So they will come full, but the back one here functions for the kitchen. So you've got 60 litres of water in that one. This one's a 40 litre tank and it runs to the front shower or hot water. So once you turn your gas on, that'll heat that up. Um, use shower or hot water for the kitchen. So for the shower, we've got this shower tent here as well. We'll quickly show you how to do it. So there's a couple of pins there, just pull them out. And then he lifts all the way up. There's two white marks. On your bars there once you find them your holes will line up and perfect height there now this one 30 second setup so undo your zip two red velcros undo them and you just pull all the way out open up the two swing arms There you go, you can peg it down. Uh, think what you want to use for, shower, change space, toilet, whatever it might be. Perfect, just a bit of privacy. So, And then to pack it up, it's as simple as what it was. So, so it just folds up away like that. Let me just drop those pins again. Make sure you lower it all times once you've stopped using it and you've packed up. It has to be down while you're traveling, so. All right, next little trap door here. This is all your volt gauges and everything like that. So a level when you get started, just to get yourself set up than all these. So these will most of the time be on, apart from maybe your pumps, you can turn them off when you're traveling so you don't spring a leak. And then you can see, you can read your gauge and um, make sure you got plenty of power. Next trap door is just stuff that you, you may need for camping. So got the chocks, which are essential. As soon as you pull up, whack them behind the wheels so you don't run away got your leg winder here so when you initially set up you want to get your level with the jockey wheel and then after that you drop your legs so all you do pull the blue tab out swing the leg down and use this and that'll get you nice and 
um, structure safe. It's not used for leveling, it's just used there as a stabiliser. So that makes sure when you're in the van, you're not rocking around. This is the hose for the hot water, which we'll show you in a sec. Other than that, you just got some butane cans, hammer, brush and shovel, all your little essentials in there. And then the last big one, just anything else that we think you might need while you're out there. So, got a trailer lock, just in case you leave in sight, whack it on the front. This is the fuck full bucket we're talking about, nice and easy. There you go, whack that under your sink. Here's a mat to put on your sand or, or grass, wherever you might be camping, so you can keep it from out of the van. The lead to run to your power source. There's a hose there, which you can fill your tanks back up with or wash something down with. It's a dirty gear bag. So if you're bringing rubbish out, feel free to drop that over the spare tire. Put your rubbish in it, so you don't have to put it in your car. There's a wheel brace in there to change that tire if you ever need to. And then this is the light we were talking about, we call it the UFO. So all packed up inside of that. All right, making our way around again. So we've got the two gas bottles at the front here. So this side services the hot water, which is this. That side there services the cooktop. And as we spoke about earlier, this yellow lever, make sure it's running vertical up and down. That opens the gas line. So at the front here, we've got some jerry can holders. We normally throw some diesel or some water in there for you, whatever the season might be. So at the front, this is our hot water system. So you can take that cover off. Now, as you can see, it does have hose connection. So we try and make it as easy as possible. All you do is you want him under there and there's a hose fitter on the other side. He just clicks up like that. It'll make sure the gas is on and the water pumps are on. Then all you do after that is this blue switch. That's what activates it. So you turn that on that creates the water and then you can run it through there. So as soon as you do that, you can run it off there and you'll get hot water instantly. Just remember when you fish with hot water, just flick that switch, that'll turn it off again. And just pack it all the way the same way as you, you did. All right, that's the outside. I'm gonna show you the inside now. All right. All right, so, there is winches either end, but if there's two people, it's much easier. We can just do it like this. So uh, all there is is three on each side. So all you do, click them up, make sure that they're not in the way. Push them down like that. Alrighty. So like I said, much easier with two people if you have. One on each side, push them up. It's got struts on it. To get up the top, just glide it easily down. There it is. So, before, like we were talking about, all right, so you got the key, you can go over here, open up the door. Down. Just like that. So, so your first part is there's only three bars inside. This is the first one. So you just lift them up from here. And once that's up, you can start to put your, your canvas down around the, the sides. That just seals everything from weather and insects. And then you go in from here.
So, come on in. So, first move you do, so as I said, there's three bars. So, we've lifted the one at the back. Now we want to do the one in the middle. So, it's just two turn buckles. All you do is lift it up, turn that buckle. Same on this side, lift him up, turn that buckle. Now into the bedroom, he goes diagonally forward. So, up like that, turn buckle, and turn buckle that way. Once you're in there, you can open up all the windows, get some breeze running through. Then up the back, we do the same. He just lifts straight up, turn buckle each side. That's, if you're just doing a quick, easy camp, that's all you need to do. If you want to stay for a bit longer and uh, protect you from any wind or anything like that, there are some bars. So they're labeled for you. So bed upright, they go up the front, sit on the ground, push it up and just lock it off just to get some taut canvas up there nice and easy another two here again they're all labeled for you so lounge sky rail you'll basically just go between the two bars that one there up the top stretch it and tighten it so there's two for each side two for each side of the bedroom and then those two uprights for behind the bed so you got a little bit of lighting in here so you got a led strip up the back here around the couch so this table can uh, be folded down into another bed for kids so you get your cushions all all set up like that um otherwise you can take that table out and just use it for a couch if it's cold or windy or just need a bit of a break from the outside up the front you've also got an led strip at your bed head there switch is is right there at your pillows so also a privacy screen here you drop that straight down if you want a bit of separation from the kids or, or put them to sleep down here at the controls here so obviously we've got them labeled here lights master this one here's the diesel heater we spoke about all you need to do is just hold that power button for two seconds it'll take up automatically it takes about three minutes to go through the startup process and then it'll just keep firing runs through this vent here and keeps you nice and warm so same thing turn it off just hold the button for two seconds it'll shut down there is a remote control on the keys as well so if you want to do it from your bed feel free it's just the on off switch all right that's about it for inside so we're just going to pack it down and then um you'll see it's, it's all finished so again do the start the reverse so the bedroom undo those two switches same on this side they're just going to collapse down and then you would do that end as well if you had put them up but we didn't in this scenario so. now, turn that light off drop this bar in so that's probably the most important part if you don't drop this bar first it's not going to fold up so you just lower it's, it's easy but you just got to remember to do it so after that we're just in reverse how we set it up so back to the front Make sure when it's coming down, just tucking all the canvas in. As you can see, it's got struts on it, so it's not going to slam on your fingers. So. As soon as you get that one latch over, it makes it easier. Check all your canvas again, and then you can shut it tight. Like that. 
that, and then just go back, snap them all on, and that's it. Just remember, if you are by yourself, this is the winch you use, so it's, it's not hard. You just unclick that, go to the front tab here, which would either obviously be here if you're opening up, or at the other end if you're closing up, and then you just winch it until you get it all the way back. Uh, that's our blue tongue. Thanks for hiring, and enjoy your camping trip.